Hi, my name is Peyton, and I was wondering when George Washington died, if Martha Washington went into their bedroom again. It's a very romantic a tale that after George Washington died, that Martha Washington, who lived another two and a half years, never really went back into the bedroom that they had shared. Now, of course, it's hard to really sort of go back in time and verify that she absolutely never went back into those rooms. But we do have amazingly quite good evidence that she did not use the room that they had slept in together. After George Washington's death, there was a very detailed inventory taken of all of the things in the house, and it's listed room by room. And there's two descriptions. One says, in Mrs. Washington's old room, and that's on the second floor, and it clearly lists the items that were in their shared bedchamber. And then there's another room on the third floor that's referred to as, in the room Mrs. Washington now keeps. And that inventory was taken probably within a month or so after George Washington's death. So it tells us that she pretty much immediately moved out of their shared room and was sleeping up on the third floor. Then there's another reference about a year later, a visitor to Mount Vernon, Mrs. Sally Otis from Boston, uh, describes that visit to a friend in a letter. And, and Sally recalls having Mrs. Washington point out to her the rooms in the South Wing that had been the Washington's bedchamber and the general study. And uh, Mrs. Washington told Sally Otis that she had not had the resolution to go back into those rooms since the general died. So we know that a year later, Martha is still not going into those rooms that, that had been so identified with the general. <laughs>